Okay, I got myself a Black Friday Thanksgiving present. Just got an Aventador. This is a convertible Roadster. Kind of badass. LP700. They delivered it from uh, up in Orange County. It's got a... Uh, it's basically about the fastest car. Even in the first uh, quarter of a mile, it just about beats a Bugatti. 700 horse, a little over 700 horsepower. What? Why do you have to have another car? I don't know, I guess I collect cars. My grandma said, you said it's too low to the ground. Yeah. Well, it's low so that it doesn't come off the ground. It goes so fast. I think we can start unloading it if you're ready. Right. What do you think of it? Great. Yeah. It's the good one. It's the good one. That's what you said. Yeah, the 700. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. It's a pretty dope car, no doubt. Maya, can you film for a second? Congratulations. It is. Boom. Oh my gosh. I'm allergic to Lamborghini. Right. <laughs> you want to go for a ride? No? <laughs> oh, that is tight. You can put Grandma has the handicap <laughs> thing. No. Grandma, put the placard up. <laughs> Please put the placard up while you're driving. Sport. Corsa. Uh, is the roughest. Yeah, I like the so. Grandma, you ready? Bye. Grandma's been ready. So, Grandma, what's your opinion of the Lamborghini Aventador so far? <laughs> Not that comfortable. <laughs> Not that comfortable? <laughs> no. You said you like your Prius better. You yes. think it's more comfortable? Much more. Okay, well, that's and definitely not true. As noisy. Definitely not as noisy. Craziest, Jacob, Chris, where are you? We're playing a tournament. It was best of 10, but then Chris agreed to double or nothing. He won the best of 10. I said best of 20, and that was for 10 grand. I upped the stakes to $45,000 if he wins. Should he have taken it or should he have walked with the 10 grand? Got 10 more games. He's a not very experienced backgammon player. Should he have taken the beginner's luck? We're about to find out. I know it. Grandma, what do you think about all this? <laughs> <laughs> Grandma That's has no comment. <laughs> She's like, you know. Uh, it's a good analogy, though. In life, should you oh, yeah, double down when you're winning, or should you take your take you your winnings? Take it. That's that's. Uh, about to find out. You gotta take it, man. Game one has now been completed. I won, but barely. It's I'm up by eight dollars. So let's we'll see if this will hold out. It changed into Christopher's hands. He won the second game. But, and now he's up 92. I'm gonna have to give him my Aventador. I'll give you a small portion of the Aventador. You can have two tires. Game three, I, I mean, I won game two, but only by 24. So it's, Chris is still up going into game three by $68. Game four goes to me, but only by a teeny amount. So by 14, game four, Chris is still ahead 54. I don't know if I can pull this around. We'll see. Oh no. Chris won the last one, so he's up 30 bucks. Only two games left. Will I be paying him 45,000? Insane. Last game and Chris is up by eight. 45 grand on the line, over on, One last game. Doesn't matter. We'll see. Wipe it all out. 
Okay, here's the deal. If you get a double, you win. It's his last one. Go. It's his roll. Go. Roll. Roll. It's in God's hands now. I win. Oh! I won by ten. <laughs> oh, oh no, my won God. by two points. Exactly. You won by two points. Mm -hmm. This may be the greatest oh, history God. game ever. I won by two points. Two points. <laughs> it's too bad we didn't record that thing. That was one of the best comebacks in history. I know. I, I thought you were I done. I had no board. I thought you were you done. No board. I rebuilt the whole mother freaking. Chris is a lot better than I thought he was. I decided to give Chris five grand consolation because he almost made me cry. No, just joking. Almost made me weep. <laughs>